Only a couple of generations ago, parts of eastern Kentucky resembled what we would now call a third world country. It was very rural. It was just like the, uh, the 19th century. There was no transportation, there was no electricity, there was no plumbing. As for health care, practically non-existent. The infant death rate was among the highest in the entire country. But in 1925, Mary Breckenridge came home from living in Europe, vowing to begin the task of saving the lives of babies and mothers. At age 44, working in the wilderness, out of this log cabin near Hyden, Mrs. Breckenridge pioneered the Frontier Nursing Service. The Frontier Nursing Service was a demonstration project. Now she chose this area because there was no roads here in Leslie County, so they had to ride horses to get around to the um, different homes. Michael Clausen tells us how Mary Breckenridge recruited nurses and midwives and taught them how to ride horseback. They covered hundreds of miles of isolated Appalachian mountain trails, packing saddlebags like this one, our 15th object. Michael, what would have been in a saddlebag like this? They would have a medication, they would have cloth diapers, they would have everything you would need to attend a birth for a baby, uh, and then the other bag would be for primary care, shots, needles. Basically, they couldn't go back to their, their clinic where they were located. They had to have everything with them. So these uh, saddlebags are very tightly packed. So there's a story. There was a young boy who asked one of the nurse midwives, Betty Lester from England, he asked, next time you bring a baby, can you bring a boy in the saddlebag? <laughs> Instead of the stork. Instead of the stork, exactly. Thousands of healthcare professionals have graduated from what now is Frontier Nursing University. But it was Mary Breckenridge, like others in our journey through Kentucky history, who blazed a trail. She had the vision to start her life over and to face an extreme challenge, taking risks, daring to go beyond the boundaries of safety and convention. People loved her. She was considered an angel when she passed away in 1965 at the age of 84. There's hundreds of thousands of people that owe their lives and their health to Mary Breckenridge for what she did here in the mountains.